I'm Sam Abel. I'm here at National Geographic talking about my new book, The Life of a Photograph. We chose the title of The Life of a Photograph because not all photographs have a life. Millions and millions of them don't have a life. But I'd like to talk about one of my favorites that does have a life, a rich and beautiful, interesting life. It's the photograph of Fungi, the wild dolphin of Dingle Harbor in Ireland. I went out on a rough day and I thought nothing would happen, but the boat owner had said, my dog and Fungi have a relationship. For about a half hour, nothing happened, and the dog began to bark, whimper, and went to the railing. He sensed that Fungi was coming. And in the first photograph of Fungi the Dolphin, there's complete chaos and disarray. Because it's very hard to photograph a wild dolphin. If you see it, it's over. You can't make the picture. And so you have to photograph it almost before you see it. You have to anticipate the photograph. And I knew this would be hard. And so what I did was what I commonly do in photography, and that is I chose a setting or a composition without the dolphin. It was an empty composition. It had the dog, the owner of the dog's hand on the collar of the dog, the ropes on the boat, and in the distance, a landscape. And I knew that the dolphin was likely to jump alongside the boat, but the dolphin wasn't there. And so I did what I always do. I composed and I waited. I created a place for the dolphin to occupy. And magically and mysteriously and wonderfully, the dolphin jumped right in to my composition. In all of my years of looking through raw film, this was the, my single greatest moment of ecstasy and disbelief mingled together. I couldn't believe it. And a lot of people can't believe it. But there is a way to take pictures like this, make them happen in your photographic life, and that is to compose the scene and wait for the subject to complete the composition. Compose and wait. I learned it from my dad in Sylvania, Ohio as a young boy. That's how he took pictures. That's how I take pictures. And that's how I teach people to take pictures. And this book, The Life of a Photograph, is full of these lessons, full of these photographs that are very capable of being made by any photographer. And this is a book about how to think about that, how to see it, and also how to enjoy the life, a lifetime's worth of photography.